Hello and welcome to Crazy Danish Hacker. Today we're going to sniff an SMS over the air and decrypt it. So first we need to talk to the USB modem inside my Samsung Galaxy S6. So what we're going to do is that we need to switch the configuration as I showed earlier. So it's USB configuration 2 and that will basically enable the USB modem. So now we can talk to the USB modem as you can see here. So we are going to use Minicom in this case because I actually prefer that now, now that I've, now that I've discovered the features that it has. So we'll just run it. Make sure your phone is unlocked. Type in a question mark and hit enter. In case you don't receive any input back or, or your own input back, then hit Control A, set, and then press E at this prompt. That will enable echoing of your commands and it will be easier to see what you're doing. So first we want to get the KC, so we do this command. It's very important that it's 176 because that's read. If you write anything else, I suggest that you exit because you don't want to overwrite anything. You could break your SIM card this way if you don't do it right. And let's hit use the other command as well to get the Timsy. And now we can hit Control A Z and we can exit and reset or quit with no reset. So we'll just hit X, leave Minicom, yes. Now we can get the KC and the Timsy. Now we only need, we don't need the two last bytes and we only need the first four bytes for this. So that's these here. Now we need to capture this channel that our phone is using. So place your phone in service mode and look at stack one. In my case, I am on ARFCN 82. Now in order to convert this to a GSM channel or a frequency, you can use cellmapper .afcn.php. So we'll just take calculate. And that's a really disgusting picture. I might, I might just remove that in post-production. So we will just copy this, the downlink frequency, and then we will just close this window and minimize. So now we will just downlink frequency. So that's all we need. And it's also written as follows. Now, as we run, we ran calibrate earlier. We know that on channel 82, the offset is as follows, but we probably can receive data anyway, even without that offset. So we'll just minimize and see if it works first. So we'll run this. And before we type in the, or we, we could, we don't actually need to type in Wireshark, but it's always good to have Wireshark running to see if it's working. So Alt F2, double click on loopback, and then we will copy and paste this. Just move this here, move this here, and move this up here. Click here, and you can see it's working. So we will just close this again, and also Wireshark. So that's, ni that's nice that it's working. So now we want to capture uh, an SMS that's being sent to ourselves. So I will just get ready to send one to myself. And we will use GRGSM capture. In this case, we will set, set the gain to 40, the channel to 82. We can also use the frequency with F. Sample rate, we will set to 1 million. And C file, that's the output file. We will set that to sms.c file. And length, 20 seconds. That should be enough. 
I hope. So that should be it. Let's run it. Wait for it to start up. Now it's ready. S send the SMS. And wait. So I've received the SMS on my phone. And now I'm just waiting for the program to finish. We'll just open a new window. See if it's actually saving data. Yep, it is. In case it's zero, as in zero size, unplug your RTL SDR and then plug it back into your computer. Because for some reason, sometimes GRGSM can do some funky stuff, and I had to do that to fix it. So now we got a nice file that we can work with. We'll just remove the test01 file and also the minicom log. We don't need that. So now we can look at the captured data. But before we do that, we will just confirm that we are still on channel 82. Yes, we are. Good. And we will also, we could also check the check the KC and SIMC to see if it has changed. For if you're receiving a call, most likely the KC will change. If you're receiving a, an SMS, most likely the KC has not changed. So we'll just type a question mark. We need to enable echoing. AT CRSM. Oh, just exit. Always exit if you're typing in something wrong. So it's more safe. You don't screw up. And we will also just make sure that the TIMC is still the same. And we will just quit. Scroll up. And we can see that it starts with 59 and it eights, ends with 803, just like here. And it starts with 906 and it ends with 76 because it's only the eight first bytes, which is one, two, three, four. So that, that's good. So now we can use grgsm decode and we can decode the file. First, we need to set the ARFCN to 82, sample rate to 1 million. We can also write it like this. That should be supported for this program. And we need to set the C file because that's the input file. So C is equal to SMS. The type of channel that we want to decode is BCCH. And the time slot is zero. So now we need to open Wireshark. and listen on loopback GSM tab and hit enter. So now this program here is decoding the SMSC file and it's sending it via the loopback interface into Wireshark. Depending on what you're doing, you may be able to find the TIMC among your packages. So we will just Control F, display filter, string, packet details, and find. For some reason, for SMSs, I am not seeing the TMSI when I'm just decoding the BCCH. But when I'm receiving a call, as far as I can remember, I can find. I can actually find my TMC. So let's just do it the manual way and let's have a look. We are looking for two paging requests like these and then a, where is it? I think it's called immediate assignment. So this could be what we're looking for. So we'll just see channel description, that's promising. So we'll just note that down because that may be what we're looking for. So it's SDCCH8, that's standard. We don't really need to write it down, but we're just doing it anyway. Time slot one, that's important. Time slot one, sub channel. We don't need to do it, but we're just going to do it anyway. Two, we can actually filter based on 
based on sub slot. I think that's how you do it here. And you say it's equal to like eight, for example, or two. Anyway, let's just stick with this for now. And hopping channel, no. So that's that's good because if it's hopping channel, it's going to be a lot harder. So now that we have this information, we can move on and we can look at some more stuff because we need to identify the encryption in use. So we will just close, stop, you know, stop recording and close and we will be ready to capture again. So now we need to decode the file again, but in another way. So we will just remove this here and SDCCH8 time slot 1. And we will look at Wireshark again. In this case, I don't think we can see the Timsy. We may be able to. Let's just try. Ah, we can. So now this is actually a service request from our from our oh, this is actually our mobile phone that's uh, being called in this packet so now we are looking for a ciphering mode command which is most likely this packet here and we are looking at the encryption level so this could be our package even though it says it's A51 so we'll just note it down, it could be A51, but I know for a fact that my phone prefers to use A53 because I've been practicing before I was recording this video. So this is probably a cipher command called by another call to another phone, while this is probably the command called to my phone. So that that's quite important because the difference in Algorithms are quite important. So for example, A51, you can actually crack that, while A53, it's it may be possible, but there aren't any there aren't any current implementations where you can directly crack this. But since we have the key, then we can decrypt it. So we will just note that it is probably A53, even though we could try A51 when we try and decrypt it, but let's see. So we will close it and then we will go here and then we will specify E and then we'll specify 3, that's for A53, and then we will specify the KC in this format here. Because who has time to write zero eggs and then each byte? Like that's only if it's coming from another program or something. So now we do it like this and we need to listen on loop back again and hit enter and we will just go into Wireshark search for our Simsy it's already here, control F and let's look down so let's see here this is, an, this is the SMS so you can see it here that's the SMS that I sent to myself and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you sniff SMSs over the air and decrypt them. If you have the KC, of course. Stay tuned and subscribe.